chopped off his roof. No, he's trying to take, trying to make a... She's, we believe, a particularly good example of the Skyrian horse. Unfortunately, her eyes are a bit sore at the moment. Um, but she has the right height, the right conformation, um, the right colouring, the right colouring. Um, but alongside of that, you're also looking for a pony that can, could survive on the mountain. Um, but if you take the story of Achilles and you think, OK, Achilles supposedly, the myth of Achilles, Achilles lived on Skyros and was protected on Skyros and maybe from here, well, from here went to Troy, what happens if he took these ponies with him to pull his chariot when he went to Troy? So if we're looking at that, we're looking at a timescale of, I mean, just down the road we have Palomari, the site of Palomari, which is 2,500 BC at least. So we're looking at 4,500 years worth of genetic material. It's different than uh, all the other Greek breeds. Uh, it's uh, small. It's, it has been isolated in Skyros for many uh, centuries, probably. Uh, that are written below are the genotype of the animal. The data is correct. We have to take that into consideration. The errors, the method errors. Um, copy of this marker, one that is exactly the same. In breeding increases the possibility of genetic defects and this is what we want to avoid, especially in a small breed because that we could lose the breed altogether if we accumulate deleterious effects. <laughs> 